start to change fairly soon. Well, I mean, Sarah, fortunately, it's going to be a beautiful weekend, but now would probably be a good time to prepare for some rain as we go into Monday and Tuesday of next week and also Wednesday and Thursday. We'll talk about all that, but let's get to the rest of your weekend forecast. Lots of sunshine right now in Tyler. Of course, those temperatures are holding in the low to middle 60s. Look at that. Tyler is at 65 degrees. We're at 57 in Jefferson. We're at 57 in center. Nacogdoches, Texas at 63. It's 65 in Lufkin and in the heat island of Dallas and Fort Worth out to our west. We are at 68 degrees. So for overnight hours, it is going to be clear. We're going to see those clear skies. As a result, we're falling once again into the lower 40s. So you do need those jackets if you have those late night plans tonight. Maybe you're walking the dog tomorrow morning. It's going to be chilly, but if you hold off till the afternoon, we're going to be back into the 70s with a few passing clouds around. And as Sarah mentioned, we do have the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms on the way. We've got not one, but two storm systems that will be moving in from the west. One will be arriving Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday will be the next storm. And with all these storms that we're going to see, some of them could be strong to severe. So here's the overall setup. The reason why we're seeing the sunshine for our western and central counties was that area of high pressure and then this next rainmaker it is going to arrive on Monday. It's just off the coast of the Pacific Northwest right now that will be tracking across the Sun Belt as we go into tomorrow before it ultimately arrives in our area as we roll into Monday. So here's future cast. This is nine o'clock in the morning. Monday morning again. I've got nothing to show you for tomorrow with the exception of a few clouds. We will be cloudy Monday morning, but notice no rainfall for your Monday morning commute. That's good news. However, as we go into Monday afternoon, we'll pause this again at four o'clock. Western counties from Henderson to Rains to Hopkins County. We do start to see a little bit of light rain and then these storms should strengthen as the atmosphere is kind of juiced up with that Gulf moisture. There it is. Western County still seeing the rainfall by 9 o'clock Monday night. Front's going to slide to the southeast. And you noticed all that rain. We did see it uh, Monday night into early Tuesday morning. This is 7 o'clock Tuesday morning. Most of the front clears the area. And then we get a break throughout the day on Tuesday. We're actually going to be pretty nice by Tuesday afternoon. That's what the radar looks like at 6 o'clock. Really nothing on the radar. Now, Here's that severe weather outlook. I mentioned the possibility of some stronger storms. We should have enough juice in the atmosphere to provide us with some storms with large hail and damaging winds, but I was pointing to the west a lot. That's about where those stronger storms are going to be. They're shaded in the green, but the rainfall forecast, we could pick up some pretty good rain next week, up to an inch and a half to our east. Obviously, eastern counties will see more rain than our western counties, but our seven day does reflect that. Showers and thunderstorms beginning again Monday afternoon into Tuesday morning and then additional chances of rain Wednesday and Thursday, but temperatures not phased at all. We've got 60s and 70s even for deep east Texas. Now for the latest weather forecast and updates on next week's storms, you can head on over to our website KETK.com.